My name's Stuart, I'm an associate with the Scots Company, I'm a research scientist in R&D, and today I'm going to talk to you about controlling grubs. So when you're talking about controlling grubs, it's important to understand something about the life cycle. The grubs that cause damage in turf grass come from beetles. So I'm standing in a vegetable garden here where we have Japanese beetles that are feeding on eggplant. Um, they're feeding and mating and they will go back to the turf grass and lay eggs. So to control these, you need to have a product like GrubX down uh, in the spring so that the insecticide is in the soil ready to control the grubs when they're very, very small. Uh, like a lot of insecticides, um, GrubX does not control the grubs in the fall when you see damage. You have to uh, control them with a preventative application. So the, the damage that the grubs cause um, is visible in the late summer and in the fall, especially when the conditions are dry because what the grubs are doing is they're eating the roots. Uh, if there's a lot of moisture, the turf grass will look like it's fine because there's enough moisture there for the roots. But if it's dry and later in the year when more of the roots are being consumed, uh, the turf will die, uh, turn brown, and you can pull it up in sheets uh, and underneath you'll find the grubs. Thanks for watching and if you have any questions, leave them below. For more information, go to scots.com. I'm Stuart and I'm Scott's Miracle Grow.